This trimaran, like many before it, was lost in its journey to the mythological dry land. scavengers of the sea are vital in cleaning the ocean floors of edible and semi-edible detritus. Another unsuccessful shark hunt for the people of Port Clovis. An insatiable fish, the bull shark is nine-tenths appetite. The grotto provides a brief respite from the Sturm und Drang of the Gulf. While fostering a balanced ecosystem is a complex and multifaceted process, what harm could arise from killing a bunch of seals?
Ensuring a balanced ecosystem is a complex and multifaceted process. What harm could arise from killing a bunch of seals? Quiet down, or they run out of hard lemonade. The shark proves as slippery as it is dead. is a source of life, inspiration, and eternal renewal. But mostly it exists to be exploited and commodified by humans. Six hundred twenty-nine days, Prosperity Sands ain't had no shark attacks. You can take OP for that. Prosperity Sands sure ain't looking. The gulf is vast, 600,000 square surface miles to be exact, making it fit among the world's seas. protective dunes, heavily developed areas risk great danger from hurricanes and tropical storms. There would have been more protests surrounding Prosperity Sands were not the public already so numbed about ecological concerns in general. This trawler, operated by Roger Cantrell, recently broke the state record for number of revocable commercial fishing offenses. Should have brought my fish finder. This is anti-climatic. Got a good Beach erosion can be harmful for ecosystems by changing habitat conditions for such local fauna as seals, sea turtles, birds, and fish.
appreciate human sacrifices, the eldritch gods of yore are seldom enthused about being summoned to Fort Rose. is firmly fixed on her prey. about saving lives, but it's also about safeguarding tourism revenue. This drummer, operated by Roger Cantrell, recently broke the state record for number of replicable commercial fishing offenses. After the end of the tiki craze, bar owners toss their Polynesian-inspired decor into the Gulf where their kitschy charm is completely lost on native marine. A successful casino heist is made even harder when you drive off the road into the ocean and drown. itself onto the beach. Sometimes it just wants to play a hot game of frisbee, but that's just some of the time. When shark season ends, hunters return to their normal routine of bouncing checks at liquor stores. Your hotshot, Ensign Tyler Dixon. No reason for an attack. Fear and panic emerge to fill the vacuum. No,
shark's reckless behavior only further incenses Port Clovis' citizens. It sails. A luxury five-star resort built over the remains of Tuna Macha, a pre-Columbian city that was once host to the most advanced civilization in ancient America. has experienced significant growth, leaving a lot of local openings for amusement right up. I ex's folk dog they voted painted sails. You know, so do a lot of other New York couillons. along Caviar Key is frequently described as gin clear, which reminds me, I could go for another Singapore sling. Ends. But this is a mere pause in the eternal struggle between man and nature. The Great White is often referred to as the king of the ocean, which gives it a skewed understanding of the role of a monarch in modern society. Shockingly, this was only Alex's second worst birthday. Local resorts have responded to sea level rise by importing 285... The shark is now a mega shark often referred to by scientists as the 64-ounce gas station soda of large marine predators.
Emperor of the Deep, the Great White. The best way to catch a kingfish is with a wire leader twin treble bait rig on a seven foot rod. Or you can just be assured. size of the Great White is unknown. is often referred to as the king of the ocean, which gives it a skewed understanding of the role of a monarch in modern society. Pete, what's in the barrels? Fish fool. Pete, whatever he says, can I ask you not to do it? Gonna get that shark, one way or another. It's, it's just that this is unnecessarily destructive. I mean, it's just one shark. There's a whole ecosystem. One shark? They killed my boy. Pete, look, I, I understand. Wanna keep tugging on this knot, you?
hunting bull sharks was made illegal in 1997. Many shark hunters get around the rule by not killing. looking wealthy women. Yeah. There's a court order that says I can't be within 200 feet of the beach. The shark's cold, expressionless eyes are constantly on the watch for food. The bull shark demonstrates the importance of getting enough minerals in her diet. returns once again to her safe haven.
In 18th century America, turtle frolics were popular gatherings where guests ate turtle stew and perpetuated the institution of slavery. have exploded. Bad news for seagrass, great news for orcas who enjoy torturing and eating them. is a sort of super scout, completely lacking in what may be called dietary discrimination. After years of eating the same meal of frozen herring at Fish Fingers, Casanita just wants her favorite comfort food, raw shark liver. and herring at Fish Fingers, Casanita just wants her favorite comfort food, raw shark liver. I catch three of them killer whales they got there at Fish Fingers. You could say I got a real keen eye for talent. Although, the wheelers really got to work on those side aerials.
the shark hunters get serious about finding our bull shark before kicking off. Keen out for talent. Although, the wheelers really got to work on those side areas. reminded of how man's intrusion has disrupted the fragile equilibrium of the marine world. Orcas do enjoy playing with toys, but not half as much as a day-old seal carcass. Random mutations aren't random. They require large amounts of mutagens as a catalyst. 